Hello guys, Cold Purpose here. We are going on with our 12th exercise on the series about Cold Shave Beginner exercises. So this exercise name is the lead game. Uh, here we have a long text to read. Let's see what it asks from us. The game of billiard involves two players knocking two balls around on a green busy table well there is more to it but for our purpose purpose this is sufficient the game consists of several rounds and in each round both players obtain a score based on how well they played once all the rounds have been played the total score of each player is determined by adding up the scores in all rounds and all the players with the higher total score is declared the winner the Siruseri sports club or organizes an annual billiards game where the top two players of Siruseri play against each other the manager of Siruseri Sport Club decided to add his own twist to the game by changing the rules for determining the winner. In his version, at the end of each round, the cumulative score for each player is calculated, and the leader and her current lead are found. Once all the rounds are over, the player who had the maximum lead at the end of any round in the game is declared the winner. Consider the following score sheet for a game with five rounds. We have five rounds. In the first round, player one has 140 points, player two has 82 points, and so on in the other rounds, as we can see here. The total score of uh, both play players, the leader and the lead, after each round is given in the following order. As you can see, in the first round, the first player leads with 58, and the second one, first player leads with 13. And in the other games, second player leads for 7, 1, and 3. As for these results, so in the second table, we have the, uh, the uh, summit up the res result from in the first line, we have only the results of the first round. In the second line, we have the results of the first and second round. And in the fifth line, we have the results from the first until the end, and the leads between them. So, if we see the score, the player player two has scored more than the player one. But uh, as for the lead, the player one had more lead in the first round than the, the player two, and that's why the player one is the winner. Note uh, that. The cumulative scores. The winner of the game is player one, as he has, we said this. You, you, our task is to find, to help the manager find the winner and the winning lead. You may assume that the score will be such that there will always be a single winner. That is, there are no ties. In the first line of the input will contain a single integer n less than 10,000 indicating the number of rounds in the game line the next n lines we are going to read si and ti which will represent the scores of the player one and two respectively in the round i as output uh, we are uh, going to have the uh, number of the winner one and the maximum lead so let's start coding the first line you need to read the number of rounds 
we have player one and player two. So firstly, we read the number of rounds. After that, uh, for the exercise purpose, I would take two helpful uh, variables. The first one would be the maximum, which I'd initialize to minus one, because there uh, that's less than zero, and the minimum lead would be probably zero if they had equal results with the first round. For that, I get a negative number there, and I'd get a winner, which would be uninitialized at the beginning. After that, I'll do a four cycle that uh, gives iterates round times, where in each cycle I'll read p1 and p2. So, firstly, I'll get the helpful, um, helpful variable lead. And to that variable, I'll give the difference, the ups. Mm. Wait, let's do it like this. So we have uh, not using ready functions, and it would be more answer. So if player one has more points than player two. Also, because we need to compare the max, the total points, not the points in each round, we need total P1, total P2, which at the beginning are zero, both of them. So, firstly, we add uh, the points, read the points to the total P1, then to the total P2. And after that, we say the total points of the player, the first player, are more there than the total points of the second player. Let's declare a lead here. We say lead is equal to total p1 minus total p2 else lead is equal to total p2 because the second player will have more points minus minus total p1 and as for next we say if lead is less if lead is greater than the maximum we had then the maximum becomes gets the value of the lead and in this case because the player one has the lead the winner is equal to one as for the second case the else Then lead is total p2 minus total p1. If lead again is greater than max, then max is equal to lead, but winner is equal to 2. And I think this is the exercise. And after all the rounds are ended and the, the result is calculated. Then we just output the winner space and the maximum points. This should work. Let's get this test case copy there, run, paste there. We have the first player is the winner with 58 points. Let's copy this, go to the submit button and check if it will pass all the test cases given by the 
code chef administrators you go submit okay you need to wait a while until it submits our code because there are probably a lot of people who submit in the same time and we need to wait for our turn when it gets chance to run compile and test in their servers and yeah we got an correct answer in a good time thanks for watching that's what's all about this vi video don't forget to subscribe by clicking the red button right below the red the like button you can also turn on the notifications by clicking the notification bell to not for to not miss the upcoming videos see you soon code purpose